baseball's trying to improve pace of play. And uh, there are some factions within Major League Baseball trying to improve excitement of play in Major League Baseball. And there is a rule that has been whispered, discussed. And again, I am not familiar as to how close this would be to reality, but there are some who are discussing this. And here is the rule that I think would absolutely inflame traditionalists. But once you hear it, and I know you're a traditionalist over there, okay? I am. Rockman. I am. Well, once you hear it, soak it in. Because baseball is truly the only sport where game on the line, final inning, any other sport, final seconds, baseball is the only sport where by mere randomness and happenstance because of a batting order, the best players are not out on the field with the game on the line. Potentially, you're down by two, ninth inning. You've got seven, eight, nine up. And that's the way it's got to it be. Goes, man. Right? And you can pinch hit, but sometimes your best hitters are not coming off the bench because your best hitters are your three, four hitters who, because of randomness, are not up with the game on the line. Here's the rule change. In the ninth inning, ninth inning only, not eighth inning, not seventh, not extras, Ninth inning only, you are allowed to send up to the plate as your first three hitters, whoever you want. Ooh. Whether they have Ooh. just played. Oh, yeah. So if three, four, five goes oh, out in yeah. order in the eighth inning, ninth inning, your manager sends three, four, five right back out there. And then six goes and seven goes and eight goes. And if it goes into extra innings, they haven't figured out what it would be. Do you pick it up from the, eighth? from the eighth or do you pick it up from where it left off that you recreate the batting order in the ninth inning that goes now for the rest of the game? Ooh. So just for a perfect example, Yanks are down by two or three, ninth Ooh. inning, and Aaron Boone gets to put Sanchez, Stanton, Judge up there. Put them up against your closer. Yeah, but say you have a no-hitter going, right? And the idea is that you've thrown this great game, this great no-hitter that you have going. What if it's a perfect game? Seven, eight, nine. Those are the easiest batters traditionally in the lineup. You're now penalized for having such a great performance through eight innings by having to get out the one, two, three, two, three, four, whatever. That's preposterous. I'm reading to you from the uh, executive in baseball. Best argument is that no other sport has the best players sitting on the bench in the final minutes of a game. Imagine LeBron or Tom Brady or Sidney Crosby or Ronaldo watching on the sideline. That's not the makeup of baseball, though. That's totally different in those sports. That is a Ooh. apples to bowling balls argument. The field has the best players. Why not the batters? <laughs> That's how baseball has been constructed for 150 years. That This, ha this is the lineup. I kind of dig it. Oh, I no like it way. I like it. No I mean, chance. I kind of dig it. I like it. That it's just one inning, one inning only. You can't pitch hit. Can you pitch? You have to No, put no, no. Those. What I'm saying is that you take. You can put whoever you want you, there. Whatever you want. So it you could, could be, put three it could pitch be, hitters up. It's not just three, four, five. It's you could take, you know, you, 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 got, you need to put somebody on. So you put your best leadoff hitter up first. And then you want somebody maybe to hit a two-run home run to win the game right then and there. You put that guy up second. Like, you have a completely reconfigured lineup and strategy just for the ninth inning. And if the game does somehow continue, I would imagine you'd have to come up with whatever rule you think works. Let's just say instead of – let's say six, seven, and eight were supposed to come up in the ninth inning. You put up three other guys – if it goes to the 10th, does the ninth place hitter now come and you have to put everybody back in the game? Or do you just recon reconfigure the lineup just for the first three guys, then the rest of the order has to go for the same? Do you do that? Ooh. Because baseball is just like, hey, get, wouldn't you stay tuned for that, the ninth inning? 
Wouldn't you stay tuned for three, four, oh, yeah. five hitters? Be up again? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you stay tuned for that? I'm, yes, I'm, you would. No, no. I'm serious. I, again, I understand you're a traditionalist. No, but I'm also staying tuned for the guy who's got the no hitter going. I'm also staying tuned if if my team is up to bat with a last chance to win, no matter who's coming up, whether it's seven, eight, nine, or four, five, six. Eight four four two zero four. Rich number to dial. Tell me what you guys think of this because this is being discussed. That rule is absolutely insane. There's no if I work for my pitchers to get those three, four, and five hitters out in the seventh, eighth inning, how fair does they get they get to come up again? I think it's a crazy rule. I don't want to see it. I want the game left alone. I don't want any mound visit changes. I don't want anything changed. All right, John. That's my view. Appreciate Thank the two cents. Thank you so much. I love the idea. Um, I'm a big Yankees fan, so I think if you have uh, Judge Stanton and uh, Sanchez in like the three and four order, uh, if they just batted in the eighth order, you bring them back up in the ninth. I think you keep that same uh, order going in, even if they did make it to the uh, extra innings. Rich, I'm so glad to hear that that wasn't your idea. It's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Well, again, the idea is that it's, baseball's the only sport game on the line. It's do or die, win or go home, and the best players are not guaranteed to be out on the field or in the batter's box. It, it, would, it would ruin the essence of the game. Think of the moments when the 189 hitting catcher comes up and hits a walk-off. Think of the moments when the rookie walks up, his first major league at-bat. And, and, and drills a, a single up the middle. I mean, you, you, part of the attraction to baseball is the strategy that the manager has to use to manage a 25-man roster through at least nine innings and mm. maybe beyond that. It's, it, it, it would be like, like, like whittling hockey down to just penalty shots because why bother with the rest of the game? Greg, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but, but uh, again, quoting the executive who spoke to me about this, that uh, football doesn't have Brady on the sideline and basketball doesn't have LeBron on the bench and Sidney Crosby isn't sitting on the bench just because it's not his line change and Ronaldo's not chilling out with the game on the line. Baseball's the only one that, that, has, that does not have the best players in the batter's box with the game on the line. All those, all those other sports have a clock. It's also the only sport without a clock. Although, I mean, I guess, I mean, I go to a lot of minor league games and they've got the minor, you know, they've got the clock on the pitchers, not the dilly dally on the, on the mound too long, but it, it also has no clock. It's the beauty of it. I love the idea of it, but not for the first nine innings. I love it for extras. Extras. It, it makes perfect sense for tenths and on. I mean, you can kind of almost call it the anti Tony LaRusa rule because of what he did with pitches and pitchers and bring people in left versus right. And I'm going to bring this person in for this situation. The whole point of baseball and the purity of it. And I think that's why there's so much traditionalist to it is the fact that it's one man against one pitcher until the ball goes into play. And because of that, that's why the lineup is the way it is. So if you're going to refresh it, refresh it in extras. When you look at how people are batting, if they're 0-3, then you're not going to put them up. Just once, though, right? Just up. just once in extras, right? You could push that button any time, 10th inning, 11th inning, 12th inning, whenever you, you want to hold on to it. Is that what you're saying? No, as soon as, or as, tenth. Soon as the ninth ends and it goes into extras, you can reset your lineup one time for extras, and that's it. Okay, thanks. And anybody that you've already previously pulled is reactivated or, or is allowed to come back. It, it adds to the game where – the game itself should get more exciting as a result because the people who are out can come back in. Mike, thanks for the call. And also it helps pace the play potentially too. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.